Hi everybody, it's Richard here and welcome to another video. This time I'm going to take a look at my Kinks collection on vinyl. Just the LPs, I'm not going to show any of the singles. Um, I'm also going to show a couple of CDs where I don't actually have the vinyl album, so I don't have every one on vinyl, but I've got a queer stack here anyway. Um, I'll also show some of the compilations, in fact all the vinyl compilations that I have. Uh, the kinks I look at as three phases. The first phase of the 60s, which is the Pi years. I think they were reprise <coughs> excuse me, in the, the US. The early 70s were the RCA years, and then the late 70s and beyond were the Arista and London years, which I tend to group together because they tended to be more sort of stadium rock by that time. So we'll start off taking a look at some of the vinyl I have. The first album is their debut, and this is The Kinks, and this is a, a Spanish press, and I remember buying this in the mid-80s in um, Magaluf. And this is not a bad album, it's not brilliant, it's a, one of those sort of uh, beat R&B albums. The highlight of here is Without a Doubt You Really Got Me, and um, Stop Your Sobbing. But it also has a very good version of Cadillac. I don't know who did the original, but I, I do like that. So this is their debut album. It's okay. Their second album was Kind of Kinks, and this was released in 1965, I believe. Um, yeah, this is a this is a, an improvement. It still has that uh, sort of R&B beat feel, like Dancing in the Streets a bit. Mm. But um, you've got Tired Waiting for You in this, and the beautiful Something Better Beginning. And Come On Now is a great rocker sung by Dave Davis. But there's one song on here that sort of shows the direction that Ray Davis was going, and that is so long. It's quite acoustic y, quite folky, and it's a great little number. So this is Kinda Kinks. Now, this was released in the UK again on the Marble Arch label. Um, who, uh, probably, I think it was a couple of years later, and that charted. I'm not too sure if this actually charted. But this is the actual, it's not the original pressing, but it's the original track listing with the original cover. So yeah, this is an 80s reissue, but Kind of Kinks, not a bad album. Even better again is their third album, still not perfect, and this is the Kink Controversy. And this is the hit single Till the End of the Day on it, and this was released in 1965 as well. Um, I'm on an Island is another one that shows the way he was going to go. Uh, Where Have All the Good Times Gone was covered by David Bowie on his pinups pin album. Ring the Bells is very good and What's in Store for Me is another really good wee rocker with Dave singing. But after that one they came into the a, a run of fantastic albums. Starting off with Face to Face. Now this is a fin really brilliant album. It's got um, Sunny Afternoon was the only single taken from it. Party Line opens it really strongly. Dandy was covered by Herman's Hermits. Too Much On My Mind is a beautiful song. The one two hit of Side Two with Holiday in Waikiki and Most Exclusive Residence for Sale is absolutely wonderful. And I really like that last track, I'll remember. Brilliant album from 66, absolutely brilliant. And I think we bettered that in 67 with something else and this has got Waterloo Sunset and Death of a Clown on it but it also has great little numbers like Afternoon Tea, Two Sisters, the very catchy Harry Rag and Tin Soldier Man and of course David Watts opens this which was a hit single for the jam. This is a really great album from 67, something else by the Kinks. But then their masterpiece came, no, nah, before their masterpiece they released a live album. Now this is uh, The Kinks Live at Kelvin Hall, I don't have it on album. It's okay, it's a 60s live album with loads and loads of screaming. Um, you've got Sunny Afternoon Dandy, you really got me, come on now, a well respected man. It is a very, very, it's okay, it's not a brilliant album but it is very very 60s, very very girly screaming. I think this was released a year previous in America under a different title, it wasn't titled Live at Kelvin Hall. But it's good to have, I don't particularly want it on vinyl, I don't need it so I don't really want it either. But their masterpiece came in 1968 with um, the Kinks of the Village Green Preservation Society. 
and this never charted at the time. It only charted was it in 2018, but even before it charted, it managed to hit gold in the UK without ever charting. Uh, so it's one of those great lost albums that actually sold throughout the years. Um, it never charted in the US either, but this is an absolute masterpiece. Animal Farm I love. I love the bounciness of <clears throat> All of My Friends Were There. Monica is a beautiful song. Sitting by the Riverside is gorgeous. No singles off this, although the first um, the first time they uh, submitted it to the record company it was I think 11 track album <coughs> with um, days on it but uh, the record uh, company wanted more songs so they scrapped a few, added a few more and came out with this. This is brilliant. If there was going to be a single on it I think Starstruck would have been the best choice. <coughs> I'm a bit coffee tonight. Um, <coughs> Arthur 69, another great album, concept album. This is a re-release from the 80s. You can see in the back of that there, you can see re-release. This was bought in the 80s on the um, Pink Pie label. This has got Victoria on it, brilliant song. Two other singles that didn't chart were Shangri-La and Driving. Australia's a good song. I think it might have been a single in Australia. Arthur is really sing-along, but the highlights for me are Yes or No Sir, some Mother Son and Young and Innocent Days, really, really strong album. Then in 1970, they released this one, and this is slightly underrated. This is uh, Lola versus a uh, Parman, Lola versus a Parman and the Money Go Round, and this has got two huge hit singles on it. It's got um, Lola and Eight Man. Now I prefer Eight Man to Lola, but the Contenders is a great song. Strangers is a wonderful um, Dave Davis song. This Time Tomorrow is great. Um, I also love the Money Go Round, which is like, it's a one minute, 50 second song about the corruption of the music industry. It's really, really good album. But the Kinks albums never charted. Some of them did, but the very early ones did, but by this time they weren't charting at all. And the last of the Kicks albums uh, on the Pi label was the soundtrack to Percy. <coughs> it's okay. Um, the two essential songs on this are God's Children and Dreams. But it's not a bad listen. Um, and I think whenever they did the deluxe version of the Lola album, they added this on as well. Because the sound of this is very lola -y. So it's not bad. It's good. It was the last one I got in vinyl. Okay, so that's the end of the Pi Year, so some Pi Year compilations. This used to belong to my cousin when he gave it to me years ago. It's on the Hallmark label. It's called Lola. It's got Dead End Street on it, well respected man, dedicated follower of fashion. Lola, you really got me, and a few uh, album tracks. This one here is a brilliant one. This is a double album, and this is on the, the Golden Hour label. And I never get this right. Um, Kinks, Lola, Percy and the Eight Man come face to face with the Village Green Preservation Society, dot 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 dot, something else. And really what this is, is a compilation of those albums I just mentioned. And there is a total of um, 44 songs on it. So if you don't get the actual albums from face to face up to Lola, this is nearly as good. And it actually does have stuff on the Percy, because it got, it's got dreams on it and it does have... Um, in God's country, or God's country. So, God's children, sorry, I'm thinking of you too there. So, yeah, fantastic double album on Golden Hour. And a couple more I have. This one I've shown before. This is the first Kinks album ever to come into our household. 20 Golden Greats. Does what it says on the tin, all hit singles. This is the one I personally bought the first time. This is my first ever Kinks album, and this is on Hallmark, and this is a double album as well. And this introduced me to songs like A Well Respected Man, Something Better Beginning, It's Alright to Be Say You Really Got Me. It's a good album, like it. And this one here is a compilation of the early stuff. Um, and this is called You Really Got Me. 20 tracks, again, Don't You Fret's on this. Uh, Cadillac's on it, Long Tall Sally, uh, Till the End of the Day. So a compilation of the first three albums. I know of a lot of compilations. But the best pie compilation is this one and this is a, a the kinks 
a well-respected man and this actually features all their singles but all their non-album b-sides as well so whenever this was bought in 1987 this is the first time I heard songs like Pretty Polly, King Kong, Big Black Smoke, Act Nice and Gentle, Mr. Pleasant, all fantastic songs. So this is the best Kinks um, 60s compilation. So they went into the 70s and signed to RCA and the first album they released was Muswell Hillbillies and this is another fantastic album. Um, Have a Cup of Tea, uh, 20th Century Man. Um, what else is there on this? Alcohol. It's a really, really strong album. Love it. I'm trying to race through this. Don't want to make it too long. Then they released this one, Everybody's in Showbiz, Everybody's a Star. And they had their last hit single in the UK until the 80s on this with Supersonic Rocket Ship. Motorway is a catchy little number. Um, Here Comes Another Day is a great opener. Sitting in my hotel is a beautiful song. But the masterpiece of this is Celluloid Heroes. The second disc is a live album and it's actually quite good. After that they released the Kinks Preservation Act 1 and the singles off this no hits were Sweet Lady Genevieve and Sitting in the Midday Sun. It is a good album. Daylight's a great song. Where are they now? There's a change in the weather. One of the survivors. I really enjoy this album. These, I do like the RCA albums. They're maybe not quite the same standard as the pie ones but they're still excellent and this one I've shown a few times and this took me a long time to get into and this is Preservation Act 2 it's a double album the single off this is Mirror of Love but you have some really good songs like um, uh, When a Solution Comes, Money Talks, He's Evil um, there's one Nothing Lasts Forever um, oh Where, oh Where is Love I, I just think they're really really good really enjoy them, the RCA, they're hard to get into but once you get into them they stick and then we're coming up to 1975 and we have Soap Opera and this one here always gets slagged off uh, but it, again it's really good, Everybody's a Star, Star Maker's a great song, Underneath the Neon Sign, Holiday Romance Ducks on the Wall is a bit meh, um, Have Another Drink, When Work Is Over this was originally planned to be um, like a play uh, filmed by Granada TV but it never actually materialized which is a pity because it would have been good uh, so this is almost the most concept they of their concept albums and then the last one for RCA and another concept album is Schoolboys in Disgrace again a great album um, I'm in Disgrace the hard way which was played quite a bit through their career after this uh, school Days, Jack the Idiot, Dance and the Brilliant, The First Time We Fall In Love. Yeah, it's a good album and it's a good way to leave RCA. Um, the cover there, I believe, was uh, drawn by Mickey Finn. And I think it's the same Mickey Finn as the bongo player for T-Rex. So, 1975, Schoolboys in Disgrace. And I do have a couple of RCA compilation albums. This was the first one we got before we got any of the albums. And this is a French one. It's just called The Kinks. And it just features a lot of the songs I've already mentioned going through those albums. So, good album. And the one at the time, just after they left, was Celluloid Heroes. And again, this is good. It's got your Celluloid Heroes. Sitting in my hotel, star maker, sitting in the midday sun, 21st, 20th century man, alcohol, skin and bone. Very good album. Okay, so then they went on and signed Arista, and Arista says, Right, we're signing you, but we want you to write proper songs and don't do concept albums. So they went all mainstream and sort of stadium rocky. And the first one that came out within 77 was Sleepwalker. I never liked this album, it's only recently I have. I've always liked the first song, Life on the Road, but I've been playing this over the past year or two and I've really got to enjoy it and it's not bad. I still prefer the RCA stuff. Um, Duke Box music is quite good. Um, Life Goes On, Sleepwalker, Brother. It is a, a harder rock album. It's not hard rock, but it's harder rock than what they were doing. And then in 78 they released this one and this is Misfits. Now the thing about this album is you like it at the start but you get sick of it very quickly. Misfits is a, a nice song. Um, Rock and Roll Fantasy is a great number. 
maybe a little too long. The single edit of that is better in a foreign land is great. It is very catchy but again it tends to you get fed up with it very quickly. But they were starting to get success in America and especially with this one. And this is a uh, low budget and this is a good album. The disco -y Wish I Could Fly Like Superman is magnificent. Um, Pressure is a great little almost punky type number. A little bit of emotion I think is really nice. But one of my favourite songs off this is a, a rock and roll number called Misery. I think it just rocks on really nicely. Catch Me Now I'm Falling uh, steals the riff of Jumpin' Jack Flash from the Stones. And Moving Pictures is a great single. This is a good album. This is one of their best of the 80s. Oh, it's 79 this, sorry. This is yeah up there with the RCA stuff in my estimations. And then live album in 1980, One for the Road, and um, I saw them live in 1981, so this was their most recent album, and it just has a lot of the hits, a few of the good LP tracks, it's not a bad album, double album. I'm not a huge live album fan, so this one here came next in 81, and this is Give the People What They Want, and I think this is quite big in America. The first single off this, um, Better Things, is one of their best singles ever. You know, and taking in all the 60s and 70s. It is a much heavier album than anything they've done. Around the Dial is great. Um, I love Predictable, of the picture disc single of it. Uh, yo Yo is quite good, and Destroyer is alright, but again, they <coughs> nick the, the riff of All Day and All of the Night for that one. So, give the people what they want, 81. It's pretty good. 83 and we have State of Confusion and this is the one with Come Dancing on it which is great and as is Don't Forget to Dance. Heart of Gold is a very catchy kink song. Defin definite Maybe and Labour of Love are good but the rest of the album is okay. It's not bad. Not as good as the previous one but still it's good to have on vinyl. And then in 84 they released um, Word of Mouth and this is a better album. This and Give the People would be their best two of the 80s. The problem with this one is the singles weren't great. I was never that keen on, um, what's the name of it, Do It Again. Good Day is not a bad song about Diana Doors but it's a little bit tiresome. But there's some really good um, LP tracks on here like Summer's Gone. Uh, Living on the Thin Line is one of uh, Dave Davis's best l later songs. Uh, Massive Reductions is a reworking of the B-side of Better Things, although I do prefer the original version and what's the other one I quite like? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, Going Solo is not a bad song either. This is a good album. It's more consistent than the previous two. Well, the previous one. CMRs, I would say, give the people what they want. But after that, they left Arista and they went with London Records. And we have Think Visual, and the drummer at the time had left, and his name actually, Mick Avery, and he was replaced by a guy called Bob Henrit. This is not great, it's not very good at all. There's a couple of good songs on it, like The Video Shop, although it's too long. It's that sort of a catchy number that would be similar to Come Dancing catchy type. Um, the other one I really do like off this is Lost and Found, but it's a little bit over 80s produced, but the album's not great. And then in 89, sorry, they did a live album here, I think this is 1988, and this is The Road. And uh, it's not great either. Uh, you get a decent version of Eight Man and Come Dancing. There is two studio tracks on this. The Road, which is excellent, but it's a little bit too reminiscent of Life on the Road. And the other one is It, I Want It, and that's rubbish. Um, but basically, no, it's not a fantastic album at all. Um, you need it for the song The Road, though. So that's their third live album, I believe. And then in 89 they released this UK Jive and again this is okay but it's not great. A couple of decent songs. Now and then is good. War is over is good but the rest of it is disposable. And then in 1993 they released their last album. I don't have it in vinyl and that is Phobia. And the problem with this one is too long. 
and again there's only a couple of decent songs on it like Scattered, um, Only a Dream and uh, Wall of Fire, the rest of it is forgettable. So, But they released one more live album and this is probably the best one to have and this is to the bone, this is a double live album and I think this was around 85 or 86 and um, it was originally released as a single CD but then it was extended to a double one and this has got things like Ape Man, Better Things, Don't Forget to Dance um, Dedicated Follower of Fashion, Come Dancing, Lola, Dead End Street um, Till the End of the Day, Picture Book, Celluloid Heroes it is really good I would like this on vinyl actually so that's my Kinks collection on vinyl and on CD well what I don't have on vinyl the CD versions but I've obviously got those albums as well on CD so that's me for now I hope you enjoyed that and I hope to have another video quite soon all the best now Bye-bye.